Hi, I'm here to talk to you about SIMD everywhere. Thank you for your time. In the interest of not wasting it, let's just jump right in. SIMD everywhere contains portable implementations of different SIMD APIs. In practice, what this means is that you can take code written to target, say, AVX, and run it on an ARM CPU or Power or WebAssembly, pretty much anywhere with a working C or C++ compiler. In addition to being great for portability, this is also really nice for development. The code runs natively on your CPU with no emulation, cross-compilers aren't necessary, and debugging can happen in your native development environment. The problem SIMD Everywhere is trying to solve is that CPU vendors all use different incompatible APIs to expose SIMD functionality on their CPUs. SIMD Everywhere basically uses one API, for example, Neon, to implement another API, such as SSE. Unfortunately, there isn't always a one-to-one -one mapping of functions. Sometimes an operation supported by one CPU isn't supported by another. Other times the operation is supported, but not for the specific types in question. If the target supports an equivalent function, we can use that and there's no performance penalty. Other times we have to compose functions by stringing together multiple simpler operations or make use of compiler specific functionality. In the worst case, we fall back on standard loops. We annotate them as best we can to try to convince the compiler to auto vectorize them, but it's not always successful. The various x86 APIs contain about 6,500 functions, of which we've implemented approximately 1,900, including complete implementations of quite a few extensions, actually. SVML is a bit of an interesting case here. It's not actually an instruction set at the CPU level, but rather a proprietary library from Intel. For the most part, it's a vectorized libm. To my knowledge, SIMD Everywhere contains the first alternate implementation. Now, you may be wondering how your project might perform when using SIMD Everywhere. I'd love to tell you that you could expect a 20% drop in performance or a 50% drop, or even better, a 50% increase in performance. That'd be really nice. Unfortunately, things just aren't that simple. Performance will vary wildly depending on what features you're using and what your target CPU natively supports. It's important to note that performance will never really decrease with SIMD Everywhere. Uh, if you use SIMD Everywhere on a CPU which natively supports the functions you're using, there's no performance penalty whatsoever. SIMD Everywhere just increases portability. For example, LZSSE is a general purpose data compression library which targets SSE 4.1 natively. If we use SIMD Everywhere, we can reduce the requirement to SSSE 3 with no significant change in performance. LZSSE does use some SSE 4.1 functions, but they don't really provide a significant performance increase. However, if we reduce the requirement to SSE 2, decompression is about 25 times slower. That's because we can't use the pshuf-b instruction, which was added in SSSE 3, and there isn't really a good fallback in any earlier instruction set. Compression speed, however, remains largely unchanged. Really, the only way to get a decent idea of what kind of performance you can expect from using your project with SIMD Everywhere is to just try it and see. Luckily, this is actually pretty straightforward. SIMD Everywhere is implemented as a header-only library, and there's no build system magic required. There is a SIMD prefix on all functions and macros by default, but you can ask SIMD Everywhere to create unprefixed aliases by defining the SIMD enable native aliases macro prior to including SIMD. Several bioinformatics projects already use SIMD Everywhere. MMSeq2, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is an interesting example. They actually already had a portable version as well as an accelerated x86 version, and what they found is that using their x86 implementation via SIMD Everywhere significantly improved performance on other architectures such as ARM and Power uh, over their portable implementation. Effectively, they're using SIMD Everywhere as a performance library, not a portability library. Debian also carries patches to port several projects to SIMD Everywhere which haven't been upstreamed hopefully yet. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, here's our GitHub repository. We have a surprisingly active chat room on Gitter and a completely inactive mailing list, but we do monitor it, so if you like using mailing lists, please feel free. Thank you.